Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can register a site as a home site. So first of all, I want to quickly explain to you what a home site is. Essentially, a home site is kind of the most um, you know, primary, the, the most important uh, you know, site or the most authoritative, I guess, site in your SharePoint uh, you know, internet, in your tenant. Um, when you register a site as a home site, and by the way, you can only have one home site, it gets some special privileges. Uh, for example, uh, when uh, I register a site as a home site, the search box searches the whole, you know, SharePoint, all the SharePoint sites, um, you know, your personal OneDrive, essentially, uh, this search box gets superpowers. Uh, the news posted, when you post news and announcements, uh, from your home site, they get the special label. So it's an indication to your users that uh, this is a formal news that came in from uh, the you know, most important site in your tenant. Uh, in addition, uh, the navigation uh, that you build on your home site, you can also utilize it to configure your SharePoint app bar. All right, uh, once again, if you register a site as a home site, you can do that. Uh, and then another benefit, um, you can bring the home site uh, into Microsoft Teams through Viva Connection. So the bottom line is when you register a site, when you pick a site and register it as a home site, it gets all of this, um, you know, different uh, privileges uh, that uh, cannot be found on uh, other sites. So how do you register a site as a home site? Well, up until recently, you actually had to do it through PowerShell. All right, this was not an out of the box function. Luckily, now it is. So let me show you, it's actually pretty easy. What you need to do is navigate to the admin center, uh, SharePoint admin center that is. So you do need to be a SharePoint admin to do that. You don't need to be a global Microsoft 365 admin center, uh, you know, uh, you have a Microsoft 365 admin role. Uh, a SharePoint admin role is sufficient. And then uh, what you need to do is just uh, navigate under settings and right here, home site, all right? Now, I already registered this site as a home site, but let me show you what you need to do. Just click here, all right? And again, I already um, registered this site as a home site, but all you would need to do, there would be an empty field for you to input the URL and you just click save. Uh, and uh, it usually takes some time for the changes to propagate, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Once you register a site as a home site, uh, you will notice, uh, like I mentioned, you know, all this, you know, privileges appearing on the site. You will be a, you will be able to see this label uh, on the official, you know, news and announcements. You will be able to utilize this site um, in the SharePoint app bar uh, navigation over here. And uh, if you uh, implement uh, Viva connections, you will be able to bring in this intranet, this home site, uh, into Microsoft Teams as well. Um, but uh, the actual step, the actual step to convert the site into home site literally takes uh, just a few seconds, uh, just exactly how I showed it to you in this video. Uh, that's all I really wanted to show you. Uh, hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.